Hey John, uh, this reunion kind of came from a chance meeting in New Orleans and you and Chuck Dykus from Arkansas ended up getting this group together. Uh, explain how this reunion came off. Well, I, like I said, I was in New Orleans, uh, it was during Mardi Gras, there was an Economic Development Council there uh, meeting and uh, had a, met a young lady or a lady there by the name of Kate Dixon. Uh, she walked up to me and saw my badge and, and saw that it said Wichita and uh, so she stopped and we started talking and she asked if uh, I had played football and uh, I said yes I did, I played for the Shockers and she immediately went to the, the uh, 1970 game, asked if I had played in that game and I said yes I did play in that game and that's when she informed me that she was at that game and that's from there uh, a couple weeks later uh, I got an email from uh, Chuck Dykus, and Chuck and I uh, got on the phone. We started talking, and uh, uh, one thing led to another, and here we are tonight. So, what do you remember about that night in, in 1970, playing in War Memorial Stadium? Uh, it was really an emotional and compassionate uh, uh, event that came on. We we flew in on uh, the day before, obviously. Uh, we were staying in a hotel in downtown Little Rock. Uh, everywhere we went, uh, people were reaching out to us and commenting and talking to us uh, and, and uh, really showing a lot of empathy, compassion. We're really uh, proud of what we were doing in uh, picking up and, and moving forward. And that, you know, for the night before, and, that's, and it just kind of you know, warmed over into the next day during the game. Uh, when we came out and we had the standing ovation, uh, there was probably 40 to 45,000 in the stadium, maybe more, I'm not sure anymore. Uh, but it, it, the standing ovation lasts for quite a while. So uh, some memorable moments throughout the game and uh, everything was just real well. Uh, and post game, uh, the team, both teams met at midfield. And it's my understanding, I learned tonight, that that's the only time that uh, uh, in, in Razorback history that they allowed that to happen.